Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna make, ooh, knocking things over. We're gonna make a Dollar Tree fall more, I'm gonna use it for Thanksgiving, so part of my Halloween's giving with the bicycle wheel, which I love. So I already started a little bit, but what I did is I took some of this, just this wired ribbon and I wrapped it around and glued it to give us a base because I was not having any luck gluing things just to the spoke. I think I saw some people using um, foam as well. And then I just took a bunch of greenery. So, so far all I've taken are these flower bundles that were part of the fall and the eucalyptus and cut off this, took my wire snippies and cut it off of the stem. So I've done the purple so far. Now, if I don't have two purple, I'm gonna set this one to the side. And all I'm doing is attaching them. I wanna make it pretty heavy green on each end. And so what it's also doing is building up the glue that will get these stems to stick. Oh, let me see here. I do wanna pull that up a little bit and then I'm just sticking it in there. And if I want, I can take my silicone mask <laughs> applicator and just hold it in place. You really want to get this in that glue because there's not a whole lot of surface, unfortunately, to um, attach it to. And then I'm going to go on this end. And I'm using a lot of glue, just in case you're wondering. I'm using a lot. For now, when I get more of a base laid down, I think we're gonna be okay. Because I have a lot of big flowers that I wanna stick in the center. There we go. Oh, it was little threads. Okay, and then I need one more over here. And the great thing about these is they're wired in the center. And therefore I can bend them to get the curl that I want, which is the shape of the bicycle wheel. I also have a piece of uh, raffi, no, that is some kind of twine, um, because we're gonna build a bow. I'm gonna put a bow on it, because I feel like it's appropriate on this project. However, if I had other decor pieces to stick in the middle. I might not put always put a bow. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely want to hold that down until it cools. And then it just comes right off that glue. And then we'll come over here and do it. And it's just holding it in place. All right, that's exciting, right? So then I'm gonna move on to flowers and at the end, I'm gonna stick the eucalyptus in. Um, because I think that'll be fun. I really wanna maybe stick with these two. Um, I think, I don't know if I, I think I'm gonna cut these off short so we can glue them down. If you have a good set of wire nips, it's that easy to cut through these flowers. Any flowers will work with this. If you wanted to do like a winter theme, you could use some greenery, like some pine. If you wanted to do a summer theme, you could get some of the summer florals when they come out. I always just buy the forms that I think I will like and then figure out the season later. Okay. So I have all of these and my plan is to cut these shorter, right? Got to get these that up, get that down. And then we're just going to give them a good amount of glue. And I feel like I need to get some better glue. I want to get, try the, um, what is it? The Gorilla Glue and see if that works a little better. Currently, I'm using the Dollar Tree hot glue, which is okay. It is just a little 
messier, I feel like. But all I want to do, and I am also doing this on parchment paper, so that um, if it gets stuck underneath, it won't stick to my table. And how are we here? So I'm just going to take a minute and glue all these flowers down. And then I will be right back. All right, so I got it all glued down where I want them. I'm not even using any of the greenery because I think I have enough. But what I did do is cut a piece of this brown twine. I used the end of the spool of my um, burlap wired ribbon. This is just from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this stuff here, I think it was given to me. I'm not 100% sure where it came from. A lot of my friends will do projects and then give me what they have left. And hey, I will use it. Um, but this is all wired ribbon. And you really want to use the wired for a bow like this. It's just helpful. And then this is for the tails. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way to make a bow here in a second. But that's the tails. This is going to be the loops at the top. And then I have just some pumpkin that I had. This is not um, wired. And I don't want as big of a piece. That's going to go in the center. But I do want a piece on my tails right so we're gonna start with the tails and I'm honestly just measuring each end I'm gonna fold them in half and I'm cutting them like that and then we're gonna go down here to this end even them off and your little one that's not wired, you just want to make sure it's folded in half. And that's my tails for the for the bow. So let us, this is a little uh, different than the, when I made the remembrance, like the figure eight. And I'm putting, I put elastics on my ribbon and it keeps it from getting all over the place or rubber bands if you call them that I call them elastics but any any ribbon will do but these go in a drawer and then little ends won't go everywhere okay step two we have our tails then what we're gonna do is take this is the the back bow I'm gonna turn it over and I'm just going to attach just like that, right? Get that cooling and get the glue off your fingers. So I got that one attached. It's a loop, but we're gonna flatten it down. We will fluff all of the bows after. And then this one here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I just wanna make sure it's a little shorter just to give us a little texture. You don't want them all covering each other up. And right there. And again, it's just a circle, but we don't want them, because I want them to look kind of just a little smaller. And then this one here, definitely want smaller. Mostly because it doesn't have a wire. Um, I will burn the edges of this before I, not on this piece because it's part of the bow, but on the ends, so they don't fray. So then we have our three pieces, right? We're going to take this, fold it in half so I know where the center is. 
we're going to take these, fold them in half. It's not quite as easy as my other bow, but it's going to be just as fun. And then you do the same thing. You just pinch them all together. I'm going to tie this around the center. Turn it over and tie it in the middle. And you can, it's like a messy bow, except for we're going to have loops, right? And you really want to tighten it up pretty tight. I'm going to tie it on and then glue it as well. Oh, some of my gold came up. But what we're going to do is get that bow over here. And if you had more... Um, wire ribbon. You can do this with as many pieces as you would like. And then here in the center, I could, um, I'm going to, I think, get a pine cone out, but I could wrap it around. I'm going to bring it over here. You want, I want my paper back because again, <laughs> ah, I lost my that flower. Okay. So the first thing I do want to do is come up in here. I like to tie these on just because I feel like I get more secure than I do with some with the glue, especially on bows. Yes, I do bows. It's like glitter. I love it, but I don't need it everywhere. Okay. And then you fluff these up, right? Got to fluff. And I need to go find something to put in the center. And I'm pretty sure, ooh, can you please get up in there? Let this dry. And then I will show you the final result. All right, guys, here it is. I think it is beautiful. I found some of the little um, burlap roses at the Dollar Tree to stick in the center. That is gonna look so pretty on my inside door. But for the um, Thanksgiving season is when I'm gonna use it. And then I may take it apart and use it for this summertime. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.